this is a fresh build, it's never been run, so it sh should be quite simple to, to pull apart. I'm going to do it as quick as possible, I don't want to be messing around. Sorry if my hands get in the way and you can't see anything. So I want to remove the top. The top two suspension screws. Alright, they're free. I'm also going to move the top. Um, also removing these top two wishbone screws. Alright, the next one should fall out. Boom. Brought the dog bone with it. That's cool. Leave that down like that. I'm going to do the dog bones last because I want to get this um, body mount and stuff off so I can get into the, the diff and change the diff out first. So I'm going to have to take all the cover off the motor, the cover off the um, spur gear here, and the, the, the diff housing, which is okay because I want to replace the motor and stuff anyway. So let's just whip that off. Yeah, that's the cover off and the switch. movement. Okay, now we just got to take off the spur cover. That should be three screws. There we go. Boom. Now they come off just like that. Little bushes. I'm bringing this up a bit closer for you. So this is what this is what we're replacing with actual bearings. So pop that out. I'm just going to lift out the diff. There's a differential. Whip off those brass bushes. Oh, lovely. Okay, so one on each side. Now there's, there's already plenty of grease on here, so the um. That this big spur here, or crown wheel, I guess you'd call it. It's a crown wheel. Uh, is towards on the motor side, so that goes that way around. Now I'm just going to chuck in the drive caps. Look at that! It works. Swap them out by just gently lifting up the drive shaft and pulling everything off. In order, so you know where it, which way it all goes. Okay, just slide the new one on. Boom. Then we need that little retainer, which is just a little cap that goes in there that holds it in place. Then a pin. Spur gear. There's another bearing. Cool. And then what looks like to be a pinion. So it should go bearing, spacer, pin, spur, bearing, pinion, diff. All right, that's those bearings done. The only thing it, you'd have to undo on the front is just move the steering out of the way. So just undo these two screws for this, this the drag link on the steering and just pop that out the way. But otherwise, the uh, operation is the same. Same with the um, the hubs as well. So I've got to take the wheels off and 
pop the hubs out. Probably should have took the wheels off first, but uh, I'll just pop those off now and put my bearings in. Lose everything. There we go. It's always good. Just gonna pop out the drive cup here. So you have to pull the pin out and the hex adapter. There we go. Pull off the plastic bushing, which we don't want. Get rid of that. Pop on the new one. Heaps of grease already on there. I don't need to add any more. If you're building this from fresh, you do. There we go. And you place the one on the other side. Done. So there's one on the inside, one on the outside. Very simple. Put the hex adapter back on. Easy. Put the wheel back on. Perfect. Runs awesome, look at that. You can almost see the difference here. All right, now you just gotta put it back together. It's real simple. That's it guys, pretty much. Uh, for swapping out your bearings, I'll put this back together. And then we're done. Although I am gonna leave this part off because I need to get the engine out. Or motor, engine, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm just gonna pop that back on there like that. Let's whip these up. It is probably easier taking off the body su support, but because um, then you can get your electric screwdriver down there. That one, and two on the front. Greasy fingers with bloody silicone on them. Last one. Done. Too easy. All right, let's put the dog bones back in. Pop them in there. They've already got grease on them, so I don't need to grease mine. But you might want to grease yours if you're doing this from from fresh. There we go. Put in the pin. That's probably the next upgrade I'll do on this. Is get some pins with eclips for the uh, hub dog bone connection as opposed to these screws. I'm just gonna pop the other side in as well. Spin it until it fits, and there goes the next pin. Once the pin's in, you just you don't have to screw it up straight away. You just got to get the pin in, and then there we go. It holds it in place. Cool. And then just get your screwdriver, whatever you're using. Try not damage my wings here. There we go. Lovely. And your screws for your Shock tower, shock tower to shock. Oh. There we go. Done. Back ends back together. Suspension's working. Oh, I feel. I tell you what, that feels just already so much better. Can't wait to get the front done. It's basically the same, guys. So there you have it. That's how you do your ball bearings. Same front and rear. I'm gonna next video up. We'll be uh, swapping out my motor and ESC for something a little bit more powerful. If you like this kind of stuff, guys, let me know. Give me a comment or like it or subscribe, and uh, I'll be bringing you more videos. Thanks, guys. Bye.